Hey guys, it's Eve Yasmin and you're watching HealthClick. We're here today outside the health store Alara here in Russell Square to get to know the products, speak to the owner Parry and just find out more about the brand. Let's go inside and check it out. I'm here now with Parry, who's the owner of Alara. Lovely to meet you, Parry. Thank you. Lovely to have you here at Alara. I'm very excited to learn more about your brand. Can you tell me, how did it all begin and what made you want to start Alara? Uh, well, um, basically, I knew the owner at Alara. I was a customer here, actually, and um, we kind of got to know each other. We used to just have coffees and lunch sometimes because I was a regular customer. And then one day she just um, seemed like in a fed up mood and um, I said to her, what's going on? She said, I just can't take this anymore. I want to sell up and go. And I said, the buyer's sitting in front of you. And she said, serious? I said, yes, I'm bloody serious. I love this shop, you know, I love coming here. I'm always here, practically live here. So I might as well own the shop. And it just happened really so fast. Um, you know, she was happy and um, I uh, had the money. I raised the money very fast and uh, I, you know, bought the shop. Fantastic. Yeah, and this goes back to about 17 years ago now. Brilliant. Well, I've just been like admiring many of the products inside. For those who are new to Alara, um, how would you summarize the brand to them? Well, uh, we, we try to be like a one-stop health food shop, basically. And uh, we try our very best to keep our prices down. So we kind of um, try to accommodate for everybody, really, even people who haven't got a lot of money. Most of the health food shop and... Um, big chain health food shops they tend to sort of you know have quite expensive prices and we have been told by many customers we are much much cheaper than other average health food shops so yeah generally speaking we try to be a one-stop shop even though we're vegetarian uh, but we do have a lot of you know kind of people who just buy our products because not everybody wants to have meat and uh, you know they, they seem to be quite happy with what we offer and it smells really nice inside oh, too thank you yeah. <laughs> so let's go inside and check it out yes sure cool yeah Okay, so we're inside now in your lovely shop Thank and you. I can still smell this glorious smell. Oh. Please take me and show me your cafe. I'm well, looking forward yeah, to this bar. <laughs> so, um, the smell is coming from this uh, lovely selection of food that we have here. Basically, we have a rest, uh, kitchen downstairs and we have a lovely chef, we've got an assistant chef. We've got two assistant chefs actually. Um, so every day, our chef is just behind the deli bar as you can see. Every day, um, the food is freshly baked and cooked. The salads are all freshly done every day because we have deliveries every single day. And uh, it's um, just brought up between 11.30 till about 4.30. We serve food here. And it's extremely popular with um, local office people, students, residents, and uh, other businesses. Perfect. And what are the most popular meals? What do a lot of people come in here and tend to buy? In terms of uh, the food from yes. the deli bar? Well, it's hard to say because I think it's a very seasonal thing. Like now, salad is the best thing because obviously everybody wants to have sort of healthier, low carb, you know, sort of. And it's also warm as well. So people tend to go. So our salad counter is really popular this time of the year. But winter time, we tend to do a lot more hot food. And also we do a good selection of soup as well in winter time, which we don't do in summertime because it's too hot. We have a scrumptious selection in front of us right now and I'm curious to know you know the recipes behind all this amazing food yeah well um, our chef is just he just loves food he always says and you can tell from his belly but don't tell it that I said that to you um, he just loves food he's always kind of looking at new ideas new recipes basically our food is just kind of from all over the world really I mean we've got Italian lasagna we've got Indian samosas we've got dolma from Greece um, yeah, we've got, um, that's like an Italian again theme there, Indian theme again. So yeah, it's just really, really cosmopolitan. And then uh, our salads, uh, we've got like Greek Greek salad. Yeah. We've got Romanian salad. Oh, we've lovely. We've got um, Polish salad. Um, we've got um, Greek. So yeah, again, it's just... International. <laughs> it's a Lebanese, yeah. And oh, fantastic. We really, I mean, we've got certain things that's on our menu every single day so we always tend to have certain salads because those are our best uh, popular sellers but the rest of them chop and change and the same with the hot food and our, um, also the hot food is like he's got like a uh, schedule for the whole week so he but he keeps chopping and changing them again but he's got certain things like as lasagna is there every single day because people are, love our lasagna I'm sure I will too. I'm sure you will. <laughs> now I haven't eaten today and I know you've had lunch here at the cafe. Yes. 
What did you have today and what would you recommend for a new customer such as myself? Uh, well, I tell you what, I just love our tzatziki. That always goes with anything I have. And I love the rice because it has a really nice uh, short grain brown rice mm -hmm. with lime in it. And it's absolutely wow. gorgeous. And I had the butter bean um, um, stew. So that was my lunch today. But I usually tend to chop and change. Mm -hmm. But today I was trying to have a little uh, light lunch. So that was what I had. And it was absolutely gorgeous. Very nice. I'm here now with Mark, who's the Head of Natural Remedies and is also a Nutrition Advisor here at Rolara. Now, what I'm really interested to know is I sing and last year I had a lot of problems with my voice. So, what products do you have here that are good for soothing the throat and any tips on de-stressing yourself? Um, well, of course. I mean, we have things like propolis lozenges, which will help to boost the immune system. Um, and we have some manuka honey lozenges as well, which will help to they're, act as a bacterial... Um, killer if you will just in case you've got any sort of bacteria on the throat um, so things like that are really quite good for you I'll just um, have a look at the packet so we can see so it's quite small and handy which is nice completely yeah, to these a bag are, these are extra strength ones so uh, the, the manuka honey works at, like I said as an antibacterial but also works like an antibiotic as well just in case you've got any kind of virus that's lingering around that could be causing the sore throat um, and for stress, we were talking earlier about yeah. how stress can sometimes cause uh, a sore throat. Mm. Things like keeping your B vitamins up, because the B vitamins are the first things that get lowered when you get stressed. Right, okay. So making sure that you've got a healthy diet. And if you are one of those people that's busy all the time and don't necessarily get a chance to eat properly, then maybe take a supplement of B complex, that kind of thing. Excellent. Thanks very much for your advice. <laughs> so what else do you have here in your one-stop shop? Well, generally speaking, we, um, we, we're kind of quite strong in our uh, natural health and beauty section as well. Uh, we practically have a good selection of everything you can find in, you know, in an alternative sort of shop like ours. Um, so as you can see, we have a lot of uh, face and body products. Yeah. So we've got the most kind of famous things like Hauschka and Ren and uh, Welida. I mean, that's sort of like a really well-known brand. They're very, uh, they're, they're sort of German products and, you know, they're very big in this country. So, we, you know, we've got a whole range of their products. Um, so that's kind of, you know, the, the facial and the body stuff. Then obviously, you know, all the other aspects of our kind of, you know, health and beauty, like sort of natural soaps, natural toothpaste. Uh, dental floss, <laughs> natural. Mm -hmm. People don't kind of realize, you know, everything we use practically can harm us, including yeah. dental floss, because, you know, you're putting it between your teeth, so it gets absorbed, uh, you know, through your gum. Um, so a lot of the stuff you buy from the, um, or, um, you know, sort of the chemist or those sort of places have got a lot of uh, additives, chemicals, you know, of course, nasty yeah. things added to them, which is not good for you. And uh, toothpaste is another really classic one that's really important to use the right toothbrush, uh, toothpaste, sorry. Um, so yes, I mean, that's that sort of, you know, um, and then uh, you come to sort of things like deodorants, you know, that's another thing that it's becoming more and more well known that deodorants are very, very harmful if yeah. it's got aluminium in them. And lo and behold, my, my husband the other day went, silly man, he went to um, the chemist and bought himself a deodorant. And at number two ingredient was aluminium and wow. I said to him I've told you so many times you know look at that and he said oh god yeah so if you look at our products none of those have aluminium in them okay. and that's proven to cause cancer because you know you put it under your arms it gets absorbed into your skin and lo and behold it gets into your body um, so what are the alternative ingredients that are included in the deodorants so basically I mean that's my actually that's the one I use myself personally and I find that extremely extremely good it's purely natural crystal so, wow um, this is really, this is quite fascinating. Because it's cute as well. It is really cute. Um, I mean, I can't open it because if you look at it, it's really just literally like a rock. It's mm. like a special crystal and it's actually quite salty. It's got like a salty flavor and it just works. And all that you do, you put a bit of water on it, loosen it slightly and then you just sort of rub it and it works. Absolutely works magic. You don't smell, you don't sweat and it's got no additives, no nasties in it. And um, yeah. So, and how long do these deodorants typically last? You know, is it the equivalent to your usual deodorant? Do they last a bit longer, shorter? To be honest with you, it's practically the same. It's okay. I mean, I use them and I never smell, I hope not. But um, they, they, they're just like the you know, conventional. The good thing is they've got no aluminium in them and no nasties in them. Okay. The other thing that I was going to show you was the shampoos and conditioners. So, I mean, you 
should probably know about sort of you know how uh, there's such a big hoo-ha about things like parabens, mm. uh, sodium sulfate, sodium, yeah. yeah, all of those kind of things are supposed to be really, really bad for you. So the whole selection of shampoos and conditioners that we have, we're very proud because none of them have any sodium sulfate, sodium laureth, paraben. The same with our body washes. And the other thing is the, like the hair colors. I use that myself. Really good prices as well. And this, believe it or not, it's incredible because I actually, some, sometimes I compare the prices to the one that you get from the supermarkets. And it's actually sometimes it's even cheaper. Cheaper, yeah. I mean, like £5.50 for I was that just bottle. looking. It's incredible. And it lasts you a long time. And it's got really nice, um, you know, uh, fragrance because mm. it's natural essential oil. And it does the job. You know, yeah. I've got long hair. You know, it does work. With me. Looks very healthy. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, that's actually my favourite brand. I use that oh, all lavender. the time. So, Faith yeah. in Nature. Faith in Nature is a wonder. And that's the other one that I use. That's a hair colour. You know, I use that uh, on a regular basis. Again, it's got no ammonia. It's got no paraben. You know, those are the really nasty things. that actually give you cancer again, which is sad to wow. say. Most of this stuff, because our body is the biggest part of our, you know, the biggest organs, actually, mm. of our uh, body. And... Um, absorption is high through our skin as you can imagine so you know what you put on your skin literally gets into your bloodstream and it causes all kinds of internal damage to you so that's it here at Alara today I've learned about so many different products if you're looking to get new health and beauty products brands want to learn more I definitely recommend you come here and check it out. It's just a two minute walk from Russell Square Station. I'm here with Health Click. I'm Eve Yasmin, and I'm going to get a bite to eat.